Welcome back to the Rainer's Kitchen. All right, so I have another version of curry shrimp and lobster. If you scroll down on this channel, I get a lot of requests just asking for curry shrimp, so I am fulfilling that request today. All right, stay tuned. All right, so let's dive right in. As you can see, I have all my ingredients already prepped, ready to go. Here I have um, wild Patagonian raw pink shrimp. As you can see, um, two pounds. They're wild caught. Um, most people think I'm using pre-cooked shrimp. They're not pre-cooked. You can see the shells are still on them. Here they are without the shrimp. They are nice, buttery, succulent. They taste just like lobster. Sometimes I use the Argentinian um, shrimp which is similar taste texture but they're called red shrimp so same thing i have my um scallion thyme onion ginger garlic pimento seeds allspice berries which is what they're called i have carrot um nicely diced and chopped well not diced sliced all right and i have about a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning probably about a teaspoon of fish seasoning and um about a tablespoon of the green seasoning about a teaspoon of well, half a teaspoon of the jerk seasoning gives it a nice little kick and i'm um, salt and pepper the taste is what's in that grinder it's a combination salt and paper salt and pepper grinder and here are my baby broccoli or other name broccolini nice sweet as well and um yeah so that's basically it so got my coconut milk right here and i'm gonna go ahead and get everything going so i'm probably using about a cup well that's about two cups of coconut milk if you don't have the coconut milk in the can which the can is probably about 13 point something ounce 0.5 ounce almost 14 ounce which is almost two cups so you can use a can of coconut milk um sometime you get a little extra coming out of the can but so yeah a can of coconut milk is sufficient all right and right here i'm also using my this is a nice vegetable peeler you can use it to peel shred you know anything it's very versatile multifunctional um great tool to have in the kitchen you can actually pick this up on my amazon storefront all right and then you can find all those links right in my description box make sure you are following me amazon um twitter TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Adarina's Kitchen. All right, so I have some great things coming up. You'll always be notified as soon as I am uploading a new video, a new recipe. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything prepped and then we'll move on to the next stage, all right? Okay, so yes, yeah, so back to Amazon before I forget. I will be live on Amazon. Um, make sure you are following me. Like I said, you can actually um, hit the link in the description box or you can go to my Instagram and hit shop my Amazon storefront and the link will be there. I'll be live on Amazon about five days per month so you can actually, you know, tune in, cook, shop, um, have a great time. All right, so stay tuned for all of that excitement. All right. All right, so here's my shrimp already peeled, washed, clean, ready to go, 32 ounces. I'm dropping a little bit of the green seasoning on. And my green seasoning, you can also find that recipe if you scroll down on my channel, the key to every food is the seasoning. All right, so drop a little fish seasoning on that. I'm sprinkling some um, all-purpose seasoning. And um, you can use any all-purpose seasoning. I like Maggie and um, that's my preference. And like I said, jerk seasoning goes great in any recipe. Um, so don't let nobody tell you that you can't add jerk seasoning to your curry. All right, so. All right, so I'm just massaging the seasoning in. Um, shrimp doesn't need a lot of seasoning. I don't even have to marinate it, but my pan is actually over there heating up. 
I am gonna drop the oil in and then we're gonna get everything started. All right, well that's after I add a little salt and pepper. So look at this salt and pepper grinder. It's actually um, a combined grinder. It has the salt and the pepper. Um, okay. All right, so moving right along. So I have right here my broccolini, baby broccoli. I love these better than actually um, the regular broccoli. You can steam these in um, vegetable broth, chicken broth. If you don't have any broth, you can make your own broth. Just add a little bully into the water. I think it's probably maybe about a cup of water. I'm using probably about a quarter cup of water because it doesn't require much and just sprinkle a little bit of the bouillon and um, you can like I said use chicken vegetable whatever ones you have on hand all right so I'm um, adding my coconut oil which gives the food this um, delicious flavor it basically um, enhances everything that coconut oil touches all right I'm putting about a tablespoon of the curry I'm just slightly burning it not actually burn we're just toasting is what we what we're really doing for a few minutes then I'm dropping the onions in this is probably about a small to medium onion um, you can cut them however you like all right so and then I'm gonna add a little garlic little ginger um, crushed pimento seed the scotch bonnet the thyme all the all, all my ingredients all my seasoning is going in um, each step at a time all right so if you don't have the garlic or the ginger you can actually purchase the paste and I am actually adding the carrots because it, you know, it's actually something that takes longer. It's one of those vegetables that's harder, so it takes a little longer to cook. So get that cooking before I add the shrimp. Just for a few minutes, got my scotch bonnet. If the scotch bonnet is not too flavorful, so that's why I always, you know, put a little jerk seasoning that's um, hot and spicy jerk, gives it a nice flavor. And then I'm just gonna drop my shrimp in and toss it in the pan for a few minutes, all right, before adding the coconut um, milk to this. All right, so moving right along after I drop the shrimp in, probably about two to three minutes after, because shrimp is cooking on, on rapid. This is on medium heat, so the shrimp will be cooked in no time. All right, so I'm just gonna drop my coconut milk in and then um, let that um, cook for a few more minutes, then I'll drop everything else in. So yeah, within 10 minutes top, so we'll be ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna drop my coconut milk in right now. And like I said, if you don't have the canned milk, you can use the box milk, different brands make it. I prefer silk, it's, um, theirs is um, flavorful. All right, and always, because the coconut oil is in there, it gives, it makes up for the difference of what's in the, the canned coconut. So it's either way, it will work, all right? All right, and if your sauce is not as thick as you expect it, just mix a little water with, um, cornstarch or if you don't have any cornstarch you can even use flour to thicken it okay and then just go ahead and drop this um my tricolor peppers in i'm adding this last so the colors will still pop all right so after doing this i'm just gonna cover it up because the shrimp is already cooked basically All right, so it's on low to medium heat, so it won't be overcooking. So while that um, sitting over there wrapping up, my rice um, is already cooked. I usually start cooking my rice before I start cooking anything because at least, you know, once the rice is cooked, the shrimp is cooked, everything will be ready together. If um, you're not sure how to cook this nice fluffy shelly, as we call it in Jamaica, right, rice, white rice, <laughs> um, make sure you scroll down on my channel, actually, um, you know, I have videos showing you how to cook it. And there is the broccolini. Look how, bam, nice, pretty, beautiful um, colors popping. All right, so everything is good to go. Grab your plate, your bowl, your knife, your fork, or even your spoon, whatever you eat with. Some people love shovel their food, so <laughs> it's their preference. All right, so thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.